U.S. President Joe Biden and Chinese President Xi Jinping met in California for a high-stakes summit pledging to steer their countries away from conflict. The meeting began with a handshake and was followed by closed-door talks on issues on Taiwan, sanctions and trade. Both leaders emphasized the importance of understanding each other and avoiding misconceptions or miscommunications. The talks aimed to restore predictability to the U.S.-China relationship, with the main goal being to prevent tensions from escalating into conflicts. Meanwhile, President shared remarks after the meet. Let's, in fact, listen in. Hey, today, President Xi and I also exchanged views on a range of regional and global issues, including Russia's refusal and brutal war to stop the war and brutal war of aggression against Ukraine and, and conflict in Gaza. And as I always do, I raised areas where the United States has concerns about the PRC's actions, including detained and, ex, and, uh, and, and exit banned U.S. citizens, human rights and corrective uh, course of activities in the South China Sea. We discussed all three of those things. I gave them names of individuals that we think are being held, and hopefully we can get them released as well. No agreement on that. Meanwhile, joining us on the broadcast is Mr. Sanjeev Shavastav. He's an international affairs expert. Good morning, sir, and thank you so much for joining in on NewsX. Now, of course, this meet that has taken place has, of course, taken place after the course of six years. U.S. and China are known to be countries that differ on, on a slew of, of, of a slew of subjects, including the, the current war that is taking place between Israel and Hamas and, of course, the Russia-Ukraine war. But, but what do you think? By what margin will the two countries restore their ties with this meeting in place? Well, good morning to you. Good morning to all the viewers. Uh, you know, uh, United States... And obviously, the differences uh, between United States and China on several issues, whether it is uh, South China, Taiwan, or trade related issues, or uh, uh, several other issues where China is attempting to uh, dominate and you know, impact the existing uh, global rules-based order. So all those issues are uh, very much there, uh, remaining between the United States of America and China. Uh, but I think at this point, uh, it is also at the same time very important that the, both the sides uh, continue uh, you know, uh, having communication with each other. So the meeting, importance of the meeting uh, uh, between the uh, President Biden and President Xi Jinping is uh, 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 mainly uh, uh, with regard to the strategic communication, uh, which has been, you know, uh, re-established uh, re between them because, you know, after the Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taiwan, uh, China had severed uh, those, uh, uh, this kind of, uh, you know, military uh, communication and uh, strategic communication. So, so I think uh, after this meeting, it will be restored and it is uh, a good and uh, constructive development. It will help uh, avoiding any misperception between the uh, two uh, major powers. But yes, uh, uh, the issues uh, which are there uh, uh, between United States of America and China, as I mentioned about uh, several such issues like um, economic or strategic issues, uh, those differences are very much there. And these two countries are going to be intensely you know, competition, uh, com uh, competing with each other. And rivalry is also very much there. Uh, but uh, uh, to avoid any misperception and to uh, avoid any kind of uh, direct confrontation uh, between the major power, it is very important that uh, both sides establish uh, strategic communication. So I think uh, uh, America's uh, main focus was to establish uh, strategic communication. And I, I'm sure that after this meeting, uh, this uh, communication will be re-established, which had got severed after the Nancy Pelosi's visit to the uh, but you know, if you look at the Chinese side, Sabri, uh, on China side, China economy is not doing very well. Like at this point of time, they are uh, performing badly, rather. And uh, and uh, China is under pressure. China and United States of America is also putting a lot of risks uh, with regard to the you know uh, uh, selling them the advanced semi chips, etc. So various technological item America is facing. Obviously, America has its own you know security concerns, and because of that. America is putting those restrictions uh, on the semiconductor chips, etc., uh, because China is involved in the spying activities as well. But uh, 
Uh, so, uh, because of uh, various uh, challenges, uh, uh, Chinese economy is not doing well. There, whether it is their uh, real estate sector or the banking sector or several other sectors are not performing well. So, China is uh, also under pressure, and that's why China has been compelled to uh, go and uh, have uh, this kind of a dialogue with the United States of America. But yes, uh, overall, if you look at the importance of this, uh, you know, uh, uh, dialogue between the two leaders, two major powers, it is with uh, regard to. The HRG communication, that is the most important part. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.